I'd like to have a look at the equation for converting Landsat 5 thematic map of digital numbers to at sensor radiance or performing radiometric correction. So at the top of the slide here I've got the basic equation for performing this correction and it may look actually a little bit convoluted but we can break it down and make it a lot simpler. So you'll see, I'll bring up some variables and values for those, but you'll see that I've obtained these from the reference that you can see at the bottom of the slide. So first of all we've got a table that gives you the meaning for each of the different variables and the measurement unit for those variables. And I've also got a table that gives you the value for a couple of the variables as well. So let's break the equation down and have a look at each individual part of it. So first of all we've got the spectral radiance at the sensor's aperture, which is going to be our unknown variable at the for this equation, and this is going to be what we what we obtain after we perform the correction. So this will be our at sensor radiance. So this is going to be band specific, and for the, for this example, we'll work on band one of Landsat five. The next variable in the equation is this L max, and it's specific to individual wavelengths and for band 1 it's got a value of 193 and again this is just specific to Landsat TM data. You then subtract the L min which um, here for band 1 is minus 1.52 and you'll see that the L min also comes up at the end of the equation so I'll pop that in down the bottom as well. We're then going to divide by the QCAL max Okay, which is given down the bottom of the first table as 255 and we subtract the QCAL min which is 1. So these values stay the same regardless of which band we're correcting. Which leaves us only one more variable that we haven't actually accounted for yet and this is the QCAL. And if you look at what this is in the first table, this is the, the digital number of your input file. So this is, the, this is the value essentially that we are going to correct for. We can have a look down at the next equation I'll put up, which is just breaking this breaking this first one down a little bit further. So we've got the, the at sensor radiance in band 1, and all I've done here is to apply the rule of a negative and a negative equals a positive. So where you've got 193 minus, minus 1.52 becomes 193 plus 1.52. And then over on the far right of the equation there, you have a plus minus 1.52. So with the positive plus a negative equal and equaling a negative rule, that becomes a minus 1.52. You can further break that equation down, but we'll just leave it as, as is for the moment because we'll, we'll change the values of L min and L max dependent on the band that we're correcting.